So now let's learn about the reaction mechanism for the halogenation of alkene di mana the type of reaction untuk halogenation of alkene ni ialah UV free radical substitution reaction. Okay, kalau free radical ni kita tahulah dia akan buat homolytic cleavage because only homolytic cleavage yang akan uh, menghasilkan reaction intermediate free radicals. Okay, so bila you nak buat the reaction mechanism for the halogenation of alkenes, okay, you need to remember these three steps. Uh, I, uh, IPT. I stands for initiation, P stands for propagation. Propagation is the most important step because kita basically akan choose the one yang ada more stable, more stable free radical, okay? Free radical carbon. So that's why uh, you need to, apa tu? Kalau let's say you tak tahu macam mana nak tahu the classes of the free radical, sila rujuk balik uh, my video 4.1, okay? Di mana kita tahu tertiary carbon free radical is much much more stable than secondary carbon free radical and much more stable than the primary carbon free radical, okay? Free radical tu bila dia ada dot kat bawah tu lah yang terhasil daripada homolytic cleavage, alright? And then, uh, kan kita tahu bila you buat halogenation of alkene, we know that we need an alkene plus kandungan halogen and then under UV light. Uh, and then you will get a halo alkene lepas tu plus kandungan HX kan. So, what is the function of the UV? So, kadang-kadang dalam soalan dia, suruh, dia suka tanya, what is the function of UV in the halogenation of alkene? So, you can answer it. Okay, the function of sunlight ataupun UV in the halogenation reaction ialah to provide energy for the homolytic cleavage. Uh, so, kalau let's say, bila you buat a chemical reaction of halogenation of alkene, kalau you tak tulis UV tak sah sebab kenapa nanti tak dapatlah buat homolytic cleavage because UV ni adalah energy for the homolytic cleavage to happen because bila homolytic cleavage to happen barulah dapat free radical okay barulah dapat buat substitution reaction barulah uh, you boleh buat uh, halogenation of alkene okay so how about the observation kalau let's say ada UV light Uh, and if let's say you gunakan uh, halogen di sini, if let's say uh, you gunakan halogen kamu tu ialah halogen bromine. Kita tahu uh, bromine ni kali dia adalah reddish brown color. So kalau let's say um, you gunakan Br2 and then ada presence UV. If let's say if you want to know halogenation of alkene so really really occurred or not. Kalau let's say memang under UV light, the reddish brown color of bromine will be decolorized. Uh, tapi kalau let's say you buat dalam tempat yang gelap, halogenation ni of alkenes ni you buat dalam tempat yang gelap. Um, apa yang akan berlaku dia tak dapat UV. Dia tak, sebab UV ni adalah energy untuk dia buat homolytic cleavage. Kalau selagi tak dapat uh, energy untuk buat homolytic cleavage, you tak akan dapatlah produk. So that's why reddish brown color of bromine will remain unchanged, okay? That's the observation if let's say you gunakan uh, halogen untuk proses halogenation of alkene Br2. Okay, so let's look at this example. Contohnya, you nak buat reaction mechanism for the halogenation of alkene yang menibatkan alkene CH4, uh, halogen Cl2 with condition UV, And you will get halo alkin CH3Cl dengan HCl. You need to remember ada tiga steps important bila you nak buat reaction mechanism for the halogenation of alkin yang dikenali sebagai IPT. Uh, I itu adalah chain initiation, P chain propagation and lastly is T untuk chain termination. Okay, so let's look at the first step, chain initiation. Chain initiation ni dia memerlukan UV light. Uh, sebab dia nak buat uh, homolytic fusion lepas tu chain initiation ni kita akan mulakan dengan uh, buat homolytic fusion dekat halogen Cl2 ok so 
you walaupun dekat dalam soalan dia bagi CL2 dalam rapat macam ni tapi bila nak buat reaction mechanism you kena jarakkan dia you have to show ada single bond kat sini ya di mana kita akan buat homolytic fission dekat this bond ingat lagi tak nak buat homolytic fission macam mana we need to illustrate the electrons movement by using the half headed curve arrow ingat lagi tak half headed curve arrow macam mana ha, bentuk dia macam ni okey Ha, kalau arrow ada dua kepala, half headed maksudnya satu kepala arrow saja untuk show yang kita hanya transfer satu elektron saja ya. Okay, since that dia memerlukan UV light dekat chain initiation ni, so you need to uh, tulis arrow pasu UV kat bawah tu. Okay, and then next barulah you buat homolytic fission. Homolytic fission kena guna half headed arrow and it has to start from this bond because this bond ada source of electrons. Okay, ada dua elektron kat sini. So, bila kita nak buat homolytic fission, kita akan uh, transfer satu elektron dekat each of this Cl atom. Okay, so this is the first half-headed arrow daripada comes out from this point and then the other half-headed arrow comes out from this point to this atom. Okay, sebab kita nak buat pecahan homolytic kat sini. Kita nak pisahkan Uh, these two Cl atoms uh, makanya terhasillah free radicals Cl dengan ada satu sahaja unpaired electron ok ataupun you boleh short form kan kat sini the product dia that you will get ialah 2 Cl free radicals ok nak buat macam ni boleh nak buat macam ni pun boleh the next step is chain propagation chain propagation ni bermaksud Uh, one of the free radical akan generate the formation of another. Okay, di mana? Okay, kalau kat uh, step first, chain initiation ni kita gunakan, kita buat homolytic fission dekat halogens. Okay, kalau chain propagation, kali ni kita akan gunakan kedua-dua reactant CH4 dengan Cl2. For example, kalau kita nak guna dulu CH4, okay, CH4, kalau kat chain propagation ni, CH4 ni dia akan Uh, your alkene dia akan uh, buat reaction mechanism dengan free radical uh, halogen. In this case, halogen free radical adalah Cl atom. Okay, lepas tu CH4 ni, you kena buka dia punya bond ni. Okay, so we we can see here ada four uh, single covalent bonds here. So, apa yang berlaku ialah dia akan buat homolytic fission juga kat sini. Homolytic fission macam mana tu? Apa yang berlaku ialah, okay, kita akan buat substitution reaction. Okay, kat sini kita akan buat substitution reaction. Ingat tak, kalau let's say alkene, dia buat substitution reaction, kita akan substitute one of the hydrogen dengan one of the halogen atom. In this case, ialah one of the halogen free radical. Okay, so kita ambil saja mana-mana H. Nak this H pun boleh, this H pun boleh. Tapi yang pastinya bila you nak buat homolytic fission between this carbon dengan this hydrogen atom, okay, it has to come from this, from the bond. Okay, it has to come from the bond. Ah, uh, So sekarang ni, bila let's say you buat a uh, half-headed arrow, one of the point dekat carbon dengan hydrogen ni uh, dia berjumpa dengan apa tu uh, one of the electron dekat uh, free radical CL ni okay. bila dia ber bertemu macam ni okay. half headed arrow ni bertemu ni bermaksud dia nak buat uh, bond formation therefore you kena bersertakan dengan bond breaking di mana kita akan break the bond between this bond and also this carbon atom. So, bila kita kat, kat sini kita buat bond breaking, kat sini kita buat bond formation. Faham tak? Sebab itulah dekat chain propagation, you will need three half headed arrow. Kenapa three half headed arrow? Sebab you akan buat bond formation dengan uh, bond breaking. Okay? So, you need to show that bond breaking. Okay, so kiranya produk dia that you will get ialah okay, this carbon since that kita dah pecahkan bond ni secara homolytically so this carbon will get a free radical. Okay, bukan hydrogen eh. This carbon akan dapat free radical. 
Tapi kita condensekan dia So that's why CH3 with free radical dekat milik carbon ni Okay, how about this hydrogen dengan Cl? Okay, dia orang dah buat, dah berpisah dah So bila dah berpisah Okay, one of the electron of hydrogen bertemu dengan one of the electron dekat Cl free radical So dia akan buat bond So that's why uh, wujudlah HCl So dia, dia, dia akan jadi macam ni H ni Cl uh, Yang ni Elektron ni dia bertemu sebab dia nak buat bond uh, So jadilah HCl Faham tak? Okay Lagi satu How about Cl2? Okay Kalau Cl2 Dia akan react dengan uh, This CH3 free radical Alkane free radical So what happen here is You still need three half headed arrows Di mana one of the Elektron dekat carbon free radical CH3 ni dia akan buat pertemuan dengan ah uh, dengan Cl. Okey kat sini this Cl2 dia akan berpisah. So dia berpisah one of the electron dia here akan pergi pada this Cl atom. One of the electron here akan buat bond formation. Okey. So you need to remember kalau let's say dia buat bond formation kat sini ni mesti kena buat bond breaking. Macam mana dia boleh dia, dia mesti kena macam tu. Kalau tak uh, macam mana lah kan dia buat bond formation lepas tu tersangkut pula this one kan. Takkan lah kita nak buat satu bond kat atas CH3. So that's why Uh, yang ni kita temu one electron dekat CH3 free radical ni kita temukan dengan one electron dekat CL ni at the same time dia akan buat bond breaking kat sini uh, one of the electron in at this bond akan berpisah dengan this CL atom so therefore kita akan buat bond CH3 ni dengan CL ok how about this CL this CL dia akan jadi CL free radical ok Uh, so, bila kita buat buat bond breaking ni, kita akan form Cl free radical. Bila kita temukan one electron dekat uh, free radical CH3 dengan one electron dekat this Cl, kita akan dapat CH3 Cl. Okay? Okay, the last step is the chain termination step di mana kita akan compile all of the free radicals and kita akan buat bond formation. Okay. So far, previously dekat step 1 dengan step 2, we have found kita ada dua jenis free radical sahaja di mana kita ada free radical Cl and also free radical CH3. Kan? So, chain termination ni apa yang kita buat ialah kita kumpulkan the free radicals and kita buat bond formation. Yang pertama, kita buat bond formation between free radical Cl and Cl. Next, kita buat bond formation between free radical Cl dengan CH3. And lastly, kita buat uh, bond formation between free radical CH3 and CH3. Okay. So, macam mana kita nak buat bond formation? Again, bila kita nak buat bond formation, kita hanya perlukan uh, dua half-headed arrow yang bertemu. Okay. Dua half-headed arrow yang bertemu dengan each other. Okay. Macam mana tu? Let's look here. For example, kita nak buat bond formation between these two Cl free radicals. So, the way you want to show it ialah, you buatlah half-headed arrow of this free radical, of this one unpaired electron dengan this one unpaired electron dekat this Cl atom. Uh, lepas dia dah bertemu, dia punya half-headed arrow ni, bermaksud kita tengah nak buat bond formation. That's why you will get Cl2. Okay, how this, how, how you dapat Cl2 ni sebab dia buat bond formation ni. Uh, kiranya you dapat Cl ni, uh, dapat bond baru dengan Cl. Just because of uh, you show this half-headed arrow bertemu dengan each other. One unpaired electron ni bertemu dengan this one un unpaired electron. Dapatlah uh, satu bond, single covalent bond here which is Cl2. Okay. Uh, nak pendekkan, buat saja Cl2. Okay, next, between uh, free radical Cl dengan CH3, bila you bertemukan satu unpaired electron of Cl dengan satu unpaired electron dengan CH3, you temukan uh, unpaired electron ni, makanya terjalinlah hubungan antara mereka, which is Cl dengan CH3. Ha, macam ni. So, therefore, the product that you will get ialah CH3 Cl. Okay, and lastly, If let's say between CH3 dengan CH3, okay, kita nak buat bond formation, kita buat half-headed arrow yang bertemu dengan each other macam ni. 
Okay, lepas tu nanti you akan dapatlah CH3, CH3. You akan dapatlah single covalent bond between CH3 dengan CH3 just because of these two half-headed arrow bertemu dengan each other. So, kiranya dia nak gabungkan kedua-dua elektron tersebut. Okay, uh, so that's all. Okay, so I want you to try this out. Um, I already made it easier for you untuk uh, the ketiga-tiga step for the reaction mechanism in halogenation of alkene CH4 and also halogen Br2 which you will get halo alkene CH3Br dengan HBr kat sini uh, I just want you to get yourself familiarized in drawing the half-headed curve arrow Okay, so chain initiation apa yang berlaku ialah kita akan ambil the halogen and kita akan buat homolytic cleavage. Uh, so macam mana? So I want you to draw this with me. Okay, the way you want to draw the homolytic cleavage untuk pisahkan bond between this Br2 adalah macam ni ya. Uh, satu, dua. Okay, so you wajib letak ada Uh, condition UV kat sini because UV ni dia akan provide energy untuk buat homolytic cleavage. Makanya you akan dapatlah dua free radical Br. Okay. Lepas tu kalau chain propagation macam mana kita akan ambil uh, al alkin kat sini CH4 lepas tu kita akan buat apa ya? Kita akan buat substitution reaction di mana uh, apa tu this hydrogen ni akan berjumpa dengan Br. Okey, kat sini pula this uh, Br ni dia akan melekat dengan CH3 free radical. Okey. So macam mana kita nak pisahkan bond dekat CH4 ni? Uh, kita kena buat chain propagation. You need to remember we have three half-headed arrow sebab so, kita nak show uh, bond formation dengan bond breaking. Kat sini I just want to break the bond between this carbon and hydrogen atom. Okay, so therefore, I will draw an arrow from the bond yang carbon hydrogen ni dengan, and kat sini I nak buat bond formation between um, hydrogen dengan Br. Sebab nanti you akan dapat set product HBr. Lepas tu, kat sini pula I akan buat bond breaking between uh, hydrogen dengan carbon. So that's why I will get free radical CH3. And also, I will get a bond uh, between hydrogen dengan Br. Hydrogen dekat CH, uh, CH4 ni lah dengan this Br free radical. Okay, and then next, uh, kita akan ambil al alkin free radical here. Kita akan reactkan dia dengan um, halogen. Kat sini, I nak form halo alkin CH3 Br. Therefore, I have to break the bond between Br dengan Br here. So, bila nak break the bond and also at the same time, I want to do a bond formation between this Br and uh, this carbon free radical. Therefore, okay, I will draw the half-headed arrow something like this. Okay. Uh, kat sini, I buatlah bond formation between CH3 and also Br. Kat sini pula, I buat bond breaking between this Br and this Br. So that's why I will get this Br free radical. Okay. Lastly is the chain termination steps. Is where I kumpulkan all of the free radicals and I can buat bond formation with each of them. Okay. So uh, firstly, I can buat bond formation between Br free radicals. Uh, so untuk buat bond formation, kita perlukan half-headed arrow yang kena jumpa each other, ber, bertemu dengan each other. So that's why I will get this PR2. Yang untuk this one pula untuk buat bond formation between BR free radical and CH3 free radical I akan buat half header arrow yang bertemu dengan each other macam ni. So I will get CH3 BR and lastly is I want to make a bond formation between two CH3 free radicals. So I akan start the half header arrow dekat uh, the one unpaid, un unpaid electron ni dengan this one. Okay. Ha, dia kena dekat bulat ni. So, bulat ni adalah unpaid, unpaid electrons. Okay. Ha, so, nanti saya akan dapat lah CH3, CH3 bond formation ni. Okay. Okay. So, for this example, 
uh, what happen kalau let's say you tak guna straight chain alkene you guna cycloalkene you buat halogenation cycloalkene still you will get the product adalah um, haloalkene cuma ni this is a cyclic structure so you need to remember halogenation of alkene tak kisahlah you dapat uh, cycloalkene ke ataupun um, dapat al straight chain alkene ke if let's say if it's a halogenation of alkene dia akan buat UV free radical substitution reaction. So, you need to remember, bila dia buat substitution reaction, dia substitute apa? Dia substitute the sub hydrogen dengan halogen. Okay? So, you kena ingat the sub hydrogen dekat, uh, hydrogen dekat alkin dengan halogen. So, this is the halogen. Okay? And this is the cycloalkene. So, as you can see here, this is the uh, haloalkene that you get. Uh, so, macam mana dapat BR kat sini? It's because you need to remember cycloalkene. This is cycloalkene pentane. Di mana dia ada 5 carbon atom. This is a stru apa, skeletal structure lah. And you need to know that each of these carbon atoms, dia boleh buat 4 covalent bond, right? So, each of them akan ada dua hydrogen atoms. Okay, kalau tak nampak, you keluarkan all of the hydrogen atoms. Okay. Lepas tu, apa yang berlaku? Substitute kan maksudnya kita sub satu saja hydrogen bersama satu saja halogen. Kalau let's say you tengok produk dia, dia, dia dapat BR kat sini. That means dia sub one of the hydrogen here bersama one of the halogen BR. Okay. Okay, next, the solution untuk reaction mechanism for halogenation of uh, alkene, we need to remember ada tiga steps, I, P, T. Initiation, propagation and termination. First thing first adalah initiation. Okay, step initiation ni di mana kita akan uh, buat homolytic cleavage dekat halogen. Halogen yang digunakan adalah PR, jadi kita akan buat homolytic cleavage dekat BR2 ni di mana kita perlukan UV light untuk kita buat homolytic cleavage ni. Okay, so it starts from this bond. Kita akan buat half-headed arrow uh, pergi kepada um, halogen ni. And therefore, we will get dua BR free radical. Okay, the next step is the propagation steps di mana kita akan uh, form the products. Okay, the product and also the side product. Product HBR and also the side product bromocyclopentane. So, macam mana nak buat tu? So, first thing first, kita ambil dulu uh, cyclopentane and also hydrogen yang kita interested in. Okay, so this is the carbon and this is the hydrogen that we are interested in. Untuk kita buat bond formation and bond breaking between cyclopentane and also uh, BR free radical. So, how can you do this is kita akan break the bond between this carbon and hydrogen and uh, carbon and hydrogen atom. And also kita akan uh, buat bond formation between this hydrogen dengan this uh, free radical bromine. So, how can we do it? We need three arrows here where kita akan temukan um, half-headed arrow BR and also half-headed arrow of bond carbon hydrogen ni. Okay. Memang kena daripada bond lah sebab this is the source of electron, right? Uh, lepas tu kita akan buat bond breaking between this carbon and hydrogen. So, kita akan buat lah half-headed arrow dekat daripada bond ni towards carbon atom here. Okay. Uh, so, therefore, we will get uh, cyclopentane free radical. This is the carbon carbon free radical. Okay. And how about the H dengan BR? Makanya terjalanlah hubungan between uh, H and also BR. So, dapatlah HBR kat sini. This is the first side product. The major product is when kita ambil this carbon free radical dekat cyclopentane ni. Okay. Kita um, buat bond formation dengan bond breaking dekat halogen BR2 di mana kita akan buat homolytic cleavage kat sini where one of the half-headed arrow akan goes towards this BR atom and one of 
the half headed arrow daripada this bond akan bertemu dengan carbon free radical punya unpaired electron okay this is the carbon uh, free radical unpaired electron dekat cyclopentane so uh, dia akan bertemu uh, dengan one of the electron dekat this BR atom because dia nak ambil this BR memang dia nak ambil this BR tapi you just need to remember the source of electron comes from this bond so that's why daripada bond ni kena uh, kena bertemu lah dengan half headed arrow yang this one okay so kita akan pisahkan bond between this BR2 ok lepas tu kita buatlah satu lagi half headed arrow menuju kepada this BR atom therefore uh, maka kita hasil lah uh, hubungan ataupun bond di antara this carbon Dah, dah, dah tak jadi dah carbon free radical because dah bertemu dengan uh, this BR atom ok and how about this BR atom since that kita break the bond here therefore we will get uh, BR free radical ok ok the last step is determination steps where we kumpulkan all of the free radicals and kita reactkan all of the free radicals, kita buat bond formation dekat all of the free radicals ok, so the first free radicals yang kita hasilkan ialah uh, these two free radicals between BR and BR ok, so kita buat bond formation between them and therefore you will get BR2 again, ok, sama ada you nak buat macam ni boleh, you you tak payah nak letak lone pair pun tak apa uh, ataupun you nak tulis terus BR2 macam ni pun tak ada masalah Okay, and then next ialah kita buat bond formation between carbon dekat this cyclopentane, carbon free radical dekat this cyclopentane and also BR free radical. Okay, so kita nak buat bond formation, kita temukan sahaja uh, kedua-dua half-headed arrow ni. Okay, it must start from this uh, free radical lah dekat unpaired electron ni. Therefore, maka terhasil lah bond between this carbon and also uh, bromine ok lastly is between uh, carbon uh, free radicals dekat cyclopentane ok uh, so the way you want to do this is you boleh hadapkan macam ni pun boleh you tak nak hadapkan dia you buat macam ni pun boleh tapi uh, make sure bila you nak buat bond formation tu you kena show lah Dua half-headed arrow yang bertemu each other macam ni. Okay. Uh, buat molek-molek sikit lah. So macam yang ni I just want to uh, apa tu nak tunjuk lah. Uh, senang sikit kan. Sebab nanti apa yang berlaku ialah terhasil lah bond between them. Okay. This bond actually terhasil daripada carbon free radical yang this one dengan carbon free radical yang uh, another uh, cyclopentane ni. Okay. Uh, so inilah saja. Okay, so how about you try this out? Okay, I want you to uh, try macam mana daripada um, cycloalkene with CH3 substituents ni you dapat haloalkene yang macam ni uh, and also side product HPR. So, again, kalau you dapat cyclic structure uh, you bawa lah keluar dia punya carbon atoms kalau you tak nampak bawa keluar all of the carbon atoms there and you need to know each of the carbon atoms ada another two covalent bonds yang dia boleh buat bersama hydrogen atom ok kecuali yang uh, carbon atoms yang carbon atom yang this one lah because dia ada substituent CH3 therefore covalent bond dia yang keempat ialah bersama satu saja hydrogen atom and we can see here um, dekat jawapan ni dekat uh, dekat produk ni it shows that this hydrogen yang kita gunakan untuk buat substitute dengan halogen BR ok uh, so therefore pentinglah untuk nanti bila dekat propagation steps you need to show the bond between this carbon dengan hydrogen atom ok, supaya nanti kita boleh buat bond breaking and bond form formation dekat propagation steps ok, so um, what I want you to do ialah illustrate all the electron movements by using the half headed curve arrow so the first step is the initiation step as usual, kita akan buat homolytic cleavage dekat 
uh, your halogen okay in this case the halogen used adalah Br2 and it needs UV light untuk dia buat initiation steps okay so what happened here is we will do a homolytic cleavage here please try this out with me okay uh, and then arrow ni kena specific ya uh, jangan lari-lari uh, kena ke BR ni Okay, uh, barulah cantik. Kalau tak, dia macam uh, buat aero dengan angin ke? Ha, macam tu. Lepas nanti, you akan dapatlah uh, two BR free radicals. How about the propagation steps? Propagation steps ni adalah di mana kita nak form these two uh, products. This is the major, this is the side product. Okay, so untuk uh, form HBR ni, kita ambil uh, this metal cyclopentane ni. Okay kita lukis and kita bawa keluar hydrogen atom yang terlibat which is this hydrogen atom ok so this is a carbon ok this hydrogen atom so what happen here is kita akan nak form HBr we will do a bond breaking between this carbon dengan hydrogen atom homolytically macam mana tu uh, di mana kita akan uh, this ok I buat cantik sikit lah Uh, daripada bond ni ok kita buat half headed arrow menuju this carbon atom because we want to break this bond between hydrogen dengan carbon while kita nak bila kita nak buat bond formation between this hydrogen dengan BR kita akan temukan half headed arrow of uh, bond hydrogen carbon ni dengan BR punya free radical therefore nanti uh, terpisahlah bond carbon hydrogen ni therefore we will form uh, carbon free radical this is the carbon carbon atom carbon free radical here uh, dengan HBr HBr ni dah bersambung lah ok dia dapat bond formation next untuk form this one ok we will use this carbon free radical ok and then kita akan buat bond formation and bond breaking dengan uh, Br2 ok di mana kat sini, I akan break the bond between this BR2. So, I akan, I akan uh, lukis lah half headed arrow starting from this bond. Ok, lepas tu uh, macam ni. Ok, uh, yang ni pula bond formation. So, I akan temukan half headed arrow of uh, daripada bond BR2 ni dengan half headed arrow of this carbon free radical. Ok, Uh, so, therefore, I akan dapatlah produk ni CH3Br because ada temukan dua ni, dua elektron ni. Okay. Uh, lepas tu, yang ni pula, I pisahkan bond between them. So, that's why I will get this, uh, this Br free radical. Okay, lastly is termination steps di mana kita akan kumpulkan free radicals yang terhasil from step 1 and step 2 tadi. Uh, which we have uh, free radical BR and also free radical carbon yang dekat cyclohexene yang ada satu-tuan CH3 tu kan. Okay, so first, I akan gabungkan, I akan buat bond formation between two BR free radicals. Okay, so kita lukislah sahaja uh, dia punya half headed arrow yang bertemu together ni. Uh, and then therefore, I will get BR2 and then next I akan buat bond formation between BR free radical and also carbon free radical uh, yang dekat cyclo, uh, uh, cyclohexane ni ok, uh, ni, this is the carbon atom lah, uh, lepas tu macam mana nak buat bond formation again, kita temukan sahaja diorang punya half headed arrow, kiranya uh, satu elektron ni bergabung dengan satu elektron ni, therefore terjalin lah hubungan terjadilah bond between this carbon atom okay carbon atom here and also BR okay and lastly ialah between carbon carbon uh, carbon dengan carbon free radicals here so uh, if I want to do the bond formation uh, buat sahaja half headed arrow yang berjumpa dengan each other okay so nanti uh, dapatlah this bond formation ni okay Uh, okay, so let's see. This is the mind maps untuk uh, 12.1 alkene. Uh, we know that the general formula untuk acyclic ni maksudnya straight chain alkene lah. Okay, for straight chain alkene, 
dia punya general formula dia ialah CN H2N plus 2 and the N must be equal to or greater than 1. Kalau cycloalkyl, uh, CN H2N, dia punya general formula tapi N2 must be greater than or equal to 3 because uh, cyclic structure untuk uh, starting dengan ada 3 carbon lah dan ke atas ya. Okay, next we have learned how to draw uh, basically naming the IUPAC nomenclature but you need to draw, tahu macam mana nak draw uh, alkins by using the IUPAC nomenclature juga lah kan. And then uh, next kita ada belajar pasal physical properties of alkins and haloalkins. Uh, di mana kita tahu alkins ni dia ada van der Waals forces therefore dia insoluble in water okay tapi dia soluble in organic solvent and also we have learn about the boiling points of alkins di mana kita tahu alkins dengan haloalkins both ada van der Waals forces tapi ada faktor yang mempengaruhi strength of van der Waals forces such as uh, the molecular weight uh, the branch apa tu branch ke ataupun straight chain alkene mana satu yang lagi boiling point dia tinggi and also about the boiling point of cycloalkene and also alkenes and about the physical state of uh, alkene yang unbranched juga kita dah sentuh di mana kalau let's say uh, for unbranched alkene uh, carbon tu ada 1 sampai 4 dia punya uh, physical state dia adalah gas kalau 5 sampai 17 liquid 18 up to more uh, carbon atoms solid. Okay. And lastly, we have learned about the reaction of alkenes di mana ada dua jenis reaction saja, Combustion dengan halogenation. Kalau combustion, you have to make sure alkene tu dia kena campurkan dengan oksigen dan you will get product CO2 plus H2O. Okay. Uh, tapi kalau let's say dia ada excess oxygen, you will get CO2. Kalau limited oxygen, you will get carbon monoxide plus H2O. Okay. About the face of the alkene, kalau dia unbranched, you can wujud this one lah. Uh, and lastly, the halogenation of alkene, di mana uh, alkene tu dia akan campurkan dengan halogen and you will get haloalkene. Okay, haloalkene and also side product dia adalah um, HX. Okay, di mana bila you buat halogenation of alkene ni kita, uh, the type of fraction adalah UV, free radical, substitution. Okay, so bila UV free radical substitution tu maksudnya you perlukan UV light untuk you buat homolytic cleavage. So since you buat homolytic cleavage, that's why you dapat free radical Okay, and then substitution, that means kita substitute hydrogen with halogen. Okay, satu saja hydrogen with satu saja halogen. And the uh, punya reaction mechanism ada tiga steps uh, such as chain, initiation step, propagation dengan termination step. Kalau initiation step, kita akan buat homolytic cleavage dekat halogen. Propagation, kita akan... Uh, show bond formation and bond breaking untuk kita dapatkan dua products. Okay, uh, sama ada major dengan side product. And lastly, estimation step kita kumpulkan semua free radicals untuk buat bond formation. Okay, so I think that's all for alkenes. Thank you for watching.